Hi, I'm Dean Shuttler and I discovered a new experiment that creates a diffraction pattern that displays more than 100 nodes in the pattern. The experiment is really easy to set up. It only requires a laser pointer and two parallel edges such as two razor blades or two pieces of paper or two tin cans. Anything with an edge. Here's the same setup I discovered two years ago for this two-edge diffraction experiment. It uses two razor blades, each held by a binder clip, and a laser pointer. For safety reasons, never point the laser pointer at anyone. Before using the razor blades, they need to be aligned parallel to each other. One way of doing that is to take a, a mug and press the edge of the razor blades against the surface. That'll line them up. And the blades sh show as parallel now to each other. They should also be aligned vertically too. Now the razor blades can be put into the beam of light. Take the first razor blade and put it about a third of the way into the beam. And the horizontal line should be a, should appear on both sides of the bright spot on the piece of paper. And then move the second razor blade into the beam and just barely into it and a diffraction pattern should show on the piece of paper. You can move the second razor blade around a little bit to get the best view of the diffraction pattern. When I shift the second razor blade to the right into the beam, the diffraction pattern will show up. And if I shift it further to the right, the diffraction pattern will shift to the right also and then I'll shift it back to the left here's a picture I took two years ago using two razor blades for the two edge experiment over 100 diffraction pattern nodes can be seen in this picture For those of you who don't like sharp objects, you can use two bars of soap if you want. Like this. These are two dove bars I bought at Costco. And we do the same thing we did with the razor blades, moving the bars of soap into the beam. Again, move it about a third of the way into the beam for the first bar of soap. And then the second bar of soap. Just put it a little bit into the beam. And you should see a diffraction pattern. Here's the two-edge diffraction pattern from two bars of soap. If you don't have bars of soap or razor blades around, you can also use two pieces of newspaper. Here I rolled up two strips of newspaper and taped them together to hold them. And you can put the first rolled up piece of paper into the beam for, and then uh, put the second one in and that will create a diffraction pattern also. Here's the diffraction pattern from two strips of newspaper rolled up. Two cans of tuna fish can also be used with the paper removed. Move the first can in about a third of the way into the beam and then move the second can in and the diffraction pattern should show up. Here's the two-edge diffraction pattern of two tuna fish cans with their paper removed. As you can see, the experiment is really simple. Try different edges and see what you get.
Thanks for watching.